Hi. Good morning, Dustin. Yes. Where do you want to go for lunch? What are you craving? Um, anything really. I have tea. Sacramento! <laughs> Fine, I'll admit it. As much as people like to complain about their small towns and being stuck in the suburbs, there's something so beautiful about a suburban summer. The empty roads as soon as the clock hits 10, the sunsets that you can rely on having PQs every single evening, the quiet, the paths to memorize by heart, the people you know in all your life, the familiar sounds of childhood laughter at the local park. The pouring of feelings in empty parking lots, stargazing in fields as the simple days blur in a frenzy. Kids on their midnight drives screaming lyrics to their favorite songs with no responsibility and nothing else to do. All suffused with the comforting warmth of bittersweet nostalgia. Oh, a suburban summer. How great you see. Right now I'm on the way to go get dinner with my friends. They're my friend group from high school. I haven't seen them in a very long time. We're getting ramen. It's gonna be a good time seeing them as always. It's crazy how the dynamics of my friendships have changed so much. People that I used to see every single day are now just people I see a few times a year. That doesn't change anything. I still love my friends so much. I think that's just a part of life, you know? Friendships come in seasons. I feel like I fucking preach that every day of my damn life but it's true and i'm just so grateful that they're in my life anyways i'm here i gotta park there's amber little miss amber look at my car is it wait did you sell the jeep yeah oh my gosh it's a new era yeah <laughs> A brief intermission to talk about our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences when it comes to therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether that's via text, call, video chat. You can message therapists at any time and schedule sessions whenever it's convenient for you. Also, if your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch therapists at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you. More scheduling flexibility and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. That's betterhelp.com slash Dustin. And I've also linked them below in the description. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. because in LA for the past few months it's been so cloudy so I'm really glad that I was able to escape that and visit home for a bit where it's like nice and sunny and it feels like actual summertime. I got a little nostalgic last night which I haven't felt in a while because last night I just found out that both my friends sold their cars. It might sound weird, why would I be nostalgic over that? But it's because both their cars, we would drive them when we were in high school, drive around like go on night drives and you know go on picnics and go to Sonics all in, in their cars. My friend Amber she had like a, a convertible and my friend Kendall she had like a Jeep. It was just such nice cars to like drive around in you know and like make memories in and they both sold them and got new cars. More adult cars. Um, something a little bit more reliable and stable which makes sense obviously but I don't know, I just like sat back and was like, wow, 
we're really growing up, we're really getting older. Those cars that we made memories in, they're gone now. It's just wild, time flies so fast. And we were just reflecting on that. Now we're like adults, like actually, we're all 21. I'm not sad about it necessarily, I'm just very nostalgic over it. Time keeps going and people grow and we have to change. That's life, baby. And you just gotta keep going with it. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my workout now. And then later today, I'm going to the lake with my friend Ella. Going to the lake. Insert clip of us going to Dairy Queen. Can you hold this? I can't drive with these. No, I'm literally gonna hold on. I, it's, it's dripping. It's dripping. It's dripping. It's dripping. Okay. It smells good. Wasn't that nostalgic, guys? <laughs> We're back with Ella, our yearly summer reunion. <laughs> Dawson walks into the sunset. Oh. And down. Up and down and up and down and up and down and up and plie and stretch and pot de ray and oh. Oh, he's getting a little crazy here. Oh, he is frolicking through the nature. You heard it here, folks. What? What you waiting for? Hey! 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 What you waiting for? What you waiting for? What you waiting for? Ugh! Oh, ew! P, you stinky! Nasty! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Nasty! Hey! You stinky! Oh, bro! That's nasty, bro! No, 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 no! Comments be like, cameraman goes crazy. <laughs>
this lighting is coming from a church sign. I thought I want to do a recap on my first night out going to bars. In your hometown. In my hometown. And also, I didn't know bars existed here. I would pass by these places and not All think anything about them. And I'm like, oh, this is what 30 year olds are doing in our hometown. Like, <laughs> what? My first few reunions. Yeah. Since like elementary school. school. Yeah, elementary school, middle school. It's crazy going in and like everyone's face, you're like, I think I know you. Oh, I think I know you too. I think I went to school with you. It was kind of what I expected. Really? I just wasn't expecting them to act like clubs. The people were like dancing, there's like dance floors. So much room. Too much room, so, so much, much light. Room. Can see Can everybody. See everybody. <laughs> it's still like crazy to me that people go out living here, but I guess it makes sense. Come on, progression in my hick town. All are welcome in rainbow letters. I did do a little shopping today, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. First off, I did some thrifting. I got this brown tank top. It just has a very interesting texture and has some beading on it. This next one I'm pretty excited about because I think it's gonna be a challenge for me to style. It's this brown suede mini skirt. But basically you like wrap it around, you tie it up, and I feel like you can do some really cool stuff with this and like tie it in different ways. My first mini skirt, I don't know if I can pull mini skirts off, but I feel like you can pull anything off if you have the confidence. And then I got these very very classic hand mitts. When I think of a oven mitt, I think of this. I thought it'd be cute for my kitchen. If you know anything about me, you know I love a purse. And I got another one. I also just love the brand name. It's called American Angel. All the little zippers have little angels on them. And it has like so many compartments. It's so nice. I also found a digital camera. This is a Canon PowerShot SD750. Seven bucks and it works. I just have to get a memory card that works with it and buy a battery charger for it. I'm not a huge digital camera user, but I know they're very trendy right now, so I thought it'd be cute for me to try out. If I end up not using it, I thought this would be a really good gift. And then lastly, I went to the mall for the first time in ages. I don't remember the last time I ever went to a mall and like actually bought something. Most of the things I buy are secondhand. And this was my first time going back to my hometown mall in years, there were so many changes, so many new stores, and they like opened a movie theater in there, and like an arcade around one, and they had a new boba shop in there. Like what? In my conservative white hometown? Crazy. That all being said, I went to Lululemon. What can I say? I come back to my hometown and I turn into like a little white valley girl. Also, I don't know if anyone else could relate to this, but I remember all the girlies were using this as their lunch bag. I just got some five inch inseam black shorts. I already have a pair of black shorts from Gymshark, but I heard Lululemon is nice. Even though I don't know why it's so expensive when it's polyester. It's just polyester. Good morning. Today is my last day in SAC. I just finished a walk with my dog and I think I'm gonna cut up some fruit. The best part about summer is all the fresh fruit. Especially being at home, my mom keeps the fridge stocked always with organic fruits and stuff. I have that mom. She eats plant-based. She always buys like organic fruits and anything and everything organic. If it says organic on it, she's gonna freaking buy it. She literally owns a vegan restaurant, so. Where's the cutting board? Stop it, but chow. Mmm, this is a good mango. I think I'm gonna actually cut up all the fruit and make like a little fruit bowl, fruit salad. Fun fact, I actually don't love strawberries. I won't not eat them, but I don't prefer them. If I had to pick a fruit to eat, I would not choose strawberries. I've really been into living a better and healthier lifestyle. I already do live a sort of healthy lifestyle, like I exercise on a regular basis, but I do it because I have to. Like I know it's good for me, so I force myself to do it, but I don't do it for the sake of loving it. I really want to get to the point where I just live a healthy lifestyle naturally and I'm very happy and enjoying the things I'm doing. I wanna eat more fruit and make better meals for myself. I'm such a lazy cook. I cook the same thing. I cook salmon or chicken in bulk, throw some rice on the side and I eat it. I rarely even eat vegetables. I know it's pretty bad. If I do, it's like maybe 
some microwaved asparagus or some spinach I sauteed up. Even though I am a lazy cook, I could do things like buy myself some fruit, cut it up and eat it. Or make myself a nice salad. Like today, I, I saw the strawberries and I was like, oh my gosh, I can make like a strawberry salad right now. I didn't because we don't have a vinaigrette for it, but I would have if <laughs> if I had it. I can make like easy stuff like that where I can still eat my boring meals of like salmon and chicken and rice, but I can make pretty healthy snacks and just romanticize it a little bit. Also exercise. I go to the gym, but because I go to the gym by myself, I don't have any gym buddies or anything. It doesn't make the process that enjoyable. Being able to like exercise is such a privilege, but I would like to go and enjoy it and think of it as a fun activity. But also I want to do like more fun things. Like I would love to go on runs, even though I hate running, I don't really do cardio other than my dance classes. I go on hikes sometimes with my friends, but it's pretty easy hikes, but I would like to like, explore new places and hikes and nature. And to kind of add on to that, I want to travel, see more beautiful things, new cultures. And you'd think me living in Los Angeles, I would be living that lifestyle, but I, I truly am not. I think it's because I work on my laptop all day and it kind of is not naturally the vibe. I really want to like practice doing that. I don't know, be more active, do more fun things. I would love to like go biking more or like roller skating. I just see like all these people online. It's in no way like comparing myself negatively, but it's more like inspiration. I see them and I'm like, whoa, like these freaking people where they wake up hella early, do a morning workout and then go surfing or like skating or whatever. I have no interest in learning how to surf. I can barely even swim, but you know, that was just an example. And they have like these groups of friends and they all are active and like love going out in nature and traveling and I'm just like, wow, I want that. Maybe it's like a lot of the content I've been consuming. I've been watching a lot of vlogs of like these people who travel a lot. And there's this, this family that literally lives on a boat and they're just traveling constantly. I don't know, it's just, uh, I can't help but be very interested in that. I am so young and I already feel like I'm starting to settle down. I am a man of routine. I love consistency, but I also don't want to fall into that. I want to push myself out of my comfort zone, try new things constantly, and I don't want to already settle down in LA, you know what I mean? And like stay there for years. I've actually been thinking about doing those programs where you can work for somebody for free stay. Some people even go out of the country to like Italy and stuff and like work on countryside farms for free stay. I mean, I've really been heavily thinking of that recently and I probably end up doing that next year. I love my life right now and I'm very happy, but I don't want to get too comfortable. I don't want to like stay in the same place for years, especially while I'm young and the privilege of my job where I can literally do it anywhere. Honestly, that would be such a dream. I would love to live on like the countryside of a farm for a month. Like, I feel like that sounds so peaceful. I'm also like not a huge city guy. Anyways, that was a pretty long tangent about my lifestyle goals, but I'm gonna finish this fruit now. <laughs> I was gonna do a workout during sunset, but I decided not to just because I'm really tired and I thought it'd be nicer just for me to chill, listen to music, and appreciate and take in my last sunset here this summer. I also brought a book just in case I wanted to read. I think after this I'm gonna get some ice cream because I'm kind of feeling it. And also, it's summertime. You gotta end your summer nights with some ice cream, especially after watching the sunset. Welcome, Sonic. What can you Hi, can I get um, the cheeseburger? Can I also get the Cheesecake Master Shake? Cheesecake, you got anything else? Uh, that's all. I can't believe all my time's coming to Sonic. I've never tried their cheeseburger. Mm, pretty solid. Are we singing the outro song right now? Yeah? Okay. Was it something I said? Oh, fuck. Ooh.